Okay, Heinz. Hey, it is Saturday afternoon. Yes, yes. And we're working through, y'all. We're just working through. I can't tell if it's good or if it's bad. Anywho, I told Carol Beth, I said, I know how to phrase it now. I feel like half my crayons have fallen out of the box. That's how about how I feel. <laughs> but we're, we're, we're doing. I'm, I'm just doing. So there you go. That's all. That's all anybody can do, right? Right. So we finally got out of this house. Finally got my jeep back Friday afternoon. Yeah, yesterday afternoon. And uh, we finally got. This is the first time I've been out since Thursday of last week. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So anywho, we went to the Dollar Tree, and she just kind of looked around. She had a little bit of her money. And uh, then I had a coupon for a free combo at Jack's, so I let her use that. And I just got a little kid's meal. So me and her both ate at Jack's for like $4 because I upsized my drink. So I only had to pay for my little kid's meal, and that was plenty for me. Like I said here lately with my stomach, I just, I can't. So and that was plenty. And then we went to Aldi. Oh, I had a scare at the gas station. I was pumping my gas, and the nozzle, it would not shut off. I mean, I tried, and it, it was stuck. And I, I jerked it, and it come out of my... Luckily, it didn't sling gas everywhere. Thank the Lord. The good Lord took care of that right there. I'll tell you what. But, yeah, I didn't have a full-blown come apart at the Walmart gas station. It was okay, but and we didn't even go in Walmart so. Um, we left there and went to Aldi. I got the basics. I uh, say basics. $75 for basics. I was $2 a loaf of bread. Um, $2.25 a dozen for eggs. Wah, wah, wah. And then I picked up some things from when we ran in Win Dixie. And I got some of their buy one get one deals. I'll show y'all that here in a minute. First, we're going to do Aldi. Well, no, tell you what, let's do Win Dixie first because it's smaller and I got ice cream. So, Girl Beth had mentioned ice cream, and when we were at the checkout, I happened to look up and their blue bunny was on sale by one get one. I don't even know how much it was. I just told her, I said, run go over there and get ice cream. So, she picked out cookies and cream and then bunny tracks. And she laughed and laughed about the bunny. She's like, it's not moose tracks, it's bunny tracks. So we got some ice cream. And then um, one of the things they had on sale, if I went and get one, was these. And stuff like this I normally wouldn't buy. But I like to have a few things in the freezer for convenience meals. You know, those nights that I just can't. So, they had these on sale, buy one, get one. And so, I thought that would make a good meal one night if I just couldn't. And I was going to get the uh, the Kaiser Rolls or the Hoagie Rolls at the bakery. They had them buy one, get one. But you only got four, and they were going to be like six something. I saw this, the whole French loaf thing, for $1.99. And I thought, well, I can just split that. Put those steaks on there and then cut into little sandwiches. So, boom, that's what we're going to do with that. Um, if we need it this week. If not, then I'll just use the French bread. They had their Danish buy one, get one. So, this is going to be some breakfast in the morning. We got apple and strawberry cheese. And then, what else? That was Aldi. Oh, they had the sodas, the Czech sodas, three for 12, so I'll let her pick. She got diet, um, a Diet Coke, diet Dr. Czech, which would be like Dr. Pepper, and then old style draft root beer, which would be like Bark's root beer. She was excited about that one. And then the main thing I went to Winn-Dixie for was the um, roast. Let's see. They had these. Two ninety nine a pound, so it was sixteen. I paid six, so I got two of those. Uh oh, there's the other one. 
because we needed we needed a couple of roast. Um, I'll probably take one and cut it up for beef tips, for no peak beef tips. I'll do that one night, probably. So let me get this cold stuff put away, and then I'll be back. Okay, now for Aldi. Um, like I said, I didn't get much at Winn Dixie. Just what was fine and get one in the meat deal. <laughs> hey guys. Um, okay. Hang out with Big Mama. I got milk at Aldi. Cool. So yeah. Now I'm gonna do the Aldi haul, and then you can help me. Well, I haven't done it yet. Um, you can go ahead and take milk. So got milk. Produce wise, um, they had the potatoes on sale at Winn Dixie, but they were cheaper at Aldi. So. I did a five pound bag of red potatoes. They had these marked down to a dollar. So I got one. Carol Beth had made the comment, we keep seeing the fair commercials. And she's like, I just want to go to the fair for a funnel cake. So for a dollar, there you go. Um, again, produce what? Red onion. They had their honey crisp apples on sale. Like they were like two something. For this bag, um, I want to say it's either two pound or three pound. Two pound, two pound bag. They're good and little. Rama tomatoes for the week. Um, some baby carrots. Uh, Carol Beth picked out some cookies. So she got the fudge stripe cookies. They do not have any lunch chips like the individual bags. None. Nothing. So, we just got some wavy, and then I get those for taco night. Um, bananas, that should have gone with produce. Um, Dairy-wise, and it might be kind of mixed up, um, I could not afford real stick butter. I can remember when we used to get this, 79 cents. It was now $1.60. $1.60. Eggs were $2.25 a dozen. This was over $3. Um, we did find pumpkin spice cream cheese. And I dug through and found salted caramel cream cheese. This will be good with those apples. Yum. Um, Wien Dixie had advertised their pork tenderloins, two for ten. Well, I looked at Aldi and I thought, okay, if they have them here cheaper, I'm going to get them here. Well, they were cheaper because two for two would have been five a piece. This one was four fifty four, and this one, granted, is little, but it was three ninety five. So I will probably do both of them for one meal since they're tiny. But hey, it's a meal. Um, I got some salsa for taco night. We're almost out of cereal bars, and they did not have any, so we just got the granola bars. And then I'll let her pick a thing of Pop-Tarts. So she got chocolate. And then I let her pick yogurts. We could not afford the flips. So I let her pick out, let's see, she got raspberry. I think she got three raspberries, one black cherry. That shocked me. Two blueberry and one pumpkin pie. They had an apple pie, and I was so shocked she didn't want to try it. Um, mini chocolate chips. I told her one day this week we are going to make up uh, peanut butter chocolate chip cookies, I think. And I could not find my chocolate chips. I was going to add some to pancakes the other day. Yesterday when I was making them. And I couldn't find them. So, chocolate chips. I was completely out of cream of mushroom soup. So instead of getting 12, I should have bought 12 to restock. But I only got 6. Because that's what my budget allowed. Um, they had stuff in the, you know, bag. This is like a seasonal thing. So, I figured every time I go, I'm going to get maybe one or two boxes and just kind of hold back. Um, we love using this as a quick side. Um, if it's Thanksgiving or something, we do not do stuffing. We do dressing. I'm just saying. Hamburger buns, hot dog buns for a good quick meal. One uh, next weekend, I'm probably thinking about doing hamburgers and hot dogs. But just in case we need a quick meal this week, there you go. Two lots of bread and one thing of blueberry bagels. And oh, and then these cookies. Those cookies. So that is what we got from Aldi. 
Let me put this stuff away and then I'll show you the meal plan. Okay, it's now five o'clock, Saturday afternoon. I'm in the process, I'm heating up, I'm preheating my air fryer. I'm just gonna do some wings in the air fryer and um, I don't know. Oh, I've got some seasoned potato logs. I'm probably going to do those. That then actually helped me, and I did not film it. I did not video it. It was just like a spur of the moment thing before I left to go to the grocery store this morning and before he had to leave to go to some work things. Um, we cleaned out the freezer. Me and him tag teamed it. Um, he was pulling out stuff, and we just kind of sorted. You know, I've got those little canvas bins. I, I'll probably video that um, of opening it and showing y'all. That probably will be Monday. I'll probably do that Monday and show y'all you know, kind of how I organized it. I still need to go through and get like a good inventory. Um, I, I counted like, you know, like we got four ground beefs. And there was one rose. So today I bought those two rows from... Um, when Dixie, I got a lot of chicken, so I really and truly didn't look for a chicken deal. Um, chicken and turkey is what we've got in there. Um, but yeah, yeah. So we did get that done. Finally, finally tackled that frog. He was a huge help. I would not have been able to have done it without him. Um, but yeah, tonight we're going to do those wings and seasoned potato logs. And we'll probably do leftovers tomorrow night. If not, I've got some hot dogs and I grabbed those hot dog buns. So, you know, hot dogs for the win if push comes to shove. Monday night, I'm going to start doing meatless Mondays. Um, and I've got a lot of eggplant. I had forgotten that we had frozen. Okay, I'm turn that off for a second. I'm having to talk over it. Um, we had frozen a lot of eggplant. And so, I'm going to do eggplant parmesan Monday night. Um, and garlic bread, I will, I say garlic bread, either going to use that loaf of garlic bread that I bought, or I've got some garlic cheddar biscuits that need to be used. Um, I probably, I don't know, I don't know, that bread's fresh. So, anywho, that and a salad. Um, Tuesday night, taco night. I did not buy anything specifically for tacos. I have six hard shells left. And then when we were going through the freezer, I found um, tortillas. So we're just going to use what we have. We're going to use those six hard and then the tortillas and then boom. I did buy the chips and the salsa. So boom, that's taco night. Wednesday night, we're going to do pork chops that I found in there and then peas. I've got a bunch of field peas in there that we grew. Um, and just any kind of mix. I've got some root vegetables in there. I found some broccoli that had gotten hidden down at the very bottom of the freezer. So I, I did find our stash of blueberries down at the very bottom. So I grabbed about four quart bags of those and I brought them in here in the kitchen and put them down in the bottom, you know, in the freezer at the bottom of the refrigerator. And so, because I could have done those whenever I did them pancakes yesterday. So I told baby girl, if they're down there, if she wants to do blueberry pancakes, we can just take some out. You know, put on our plate as we're heating them up. Um, or I can make blueberry muffins or something, or blueberry cobbler. Um, anyway, Wednesday's going to be pork chops. Thursday, I'm going to do poppy seed chicken casserole. I've got a bunch of cooked turkey in the freezer so I'm going to use it and make a turkey poppy, poppy seed turkey um, over rice Friday night's standard pizza we've got the little red baron pizzas we've got one cheese left and some pepperoni so we're just going to use what we have and then Saturday and Sunday next week we're going to probably do burgers and dogs because I did not realize how many hamburgers are still left in that box of hamburger patties so in fact that was something else that I brought and put in here in the kitchen in this refrigerator so um, that and the hot dogs so uh, we're going to do that next weekend so that's the menu plan um, like I said tonight we're doing those wings and 
um, they have seasoned potato logs and I'm not quite sure what else, if anything else. I don't know. Um, but that's going to do it for tonight. I am feeling better. I, I am. In moments, it's not a constant as far as that anxiety feeling. It's not constantly now. It's sporadic, which is better than constant. Good gravy, y'all. Oh, my Lord. I would not wish that on anybody. I mean, anybody. That is the worst Ugh, feeling. Um, it comes and goes, but it is getting better. It is getting better. Praise the Lord. So keep praying for me. Um, if y'all could also pray for those on our prayer list. Oh, Teresa Davis. Y'all please pray for her. Her husband passed away. Um, I've been kind of chatting, well, I, in a way, kind of chatting with her, I guess you would say. Um, Teresa Smith, excuse me, Teresa Smith, um, her husband had passed away, um, Tuesday, and so y'all please pray for her. Um, pray for Belinda. She's still going through health crisis. Sandy Engel, y'all, please pray for her. She's going through some health issues. She is, she is my, my soul sister. My, my, yes. So, y'all, please pray for her. Um, and that's going to do it for tonight. And, um, I'm planning on, if I feel like it, I'm going to do a planner video tomorrow because I need to get ready for this last week of September going into October so I need to be doing that and um, I'm excited about a planner that I'm going to be using for next year again Sandy thank you um yeah yeah so um but yeah I'm going to be kind of going over that because I'm back in my in the leafy treetops I did that for September and I like it so that's how we're rocking September and I'm going to do it through December for sure and then 2023 that is what I will be using so until then be good be sweet don't start none there won't be none share play nice with others if you need bail money call me I might I might feel yeah I'm getting there I could come and help you out um, I told Carol Beth she wanted to know if I still felt if I still felt and I'm like well you know Carol Beth I'm starting to get some of my crayons back in the box only a few were still out and she busted out laughing she said mama I gotta remember that one you got too many crayons out of the box and I'm like yes yes so bye hoins